Hi everybody. This video is to help you with the assignment SketchUp Birdhouse. So we have some PDF instructions for you to follow, or you can continue on and watch this video. So let's open up our SketchUp for Schools app. And once it loads, we'll go through the process of saving our project in the appropriate place. We're creating a new simple template feet and inches. And let's make sure we get this saved. So we'll save it in a place that we can find it later. Let's put our name on the front. And we will name it. In this case, we'll just call it birdhouse. And let's get into it. Let's delete the person. And we'll go ahead and start building. So we need some pieces for our birdhouse. We're going to build all the pieces and deconstruct them. Let's get the rectangle out. And we are going five and a half inches, inches by nine and a half inches. All right, there we go. Let's get into where we can see what's going on. All right, there's our piece. Let's push pull this up. We're going three quarters of an inch, just like the material that we use. Uh oh, 75 inches. I meant to hit 0.75, or you can do three over four inches. And let's paint this right away. Hit the paint bucket, and we'll get over and search for some wood material. Let's try this guy out. Now, again, we can click and it'll paint one side. Or if you hold down shift, we'll be able to paint all sides at once. I think you may have to find the key that you're using um, on a Chromebook, but you should be able to find whether it's shift, whether it's uh, control, one of those buttons will do it for you. Go back to the cursor, triple click, right click, and we're going to make this a component. And we are calling this component the base. This is going to go on the bottom. And we're clicking OK. Now let's make another rectangle. And we're going to this corner here, putting a rectangle on top. And we're going five and a half inches, comma, three quarters. So 0.75, enter. We have our rectangle there on top. Let's use our measuring tape to check and make sure that our dimensions match up. Click there, move it across. I can see in my bottom length in that bottom corner, it says five and a half. So I'm good. I'll hit escape. And now let's pull this up. Push pull that rectangle up. Here we go. We're going 12 inches, 12 inches. Enter, and there's another board for me. All right, now we're gonna make an angled roof. So watch closely. We are going to go in and find a protractor. So go in where this measuring tape is. Here's our protractor. And we want to make sure that our protractor is green while we're using it. If it's not green, if it's red, or if it's blue, uh, we're going to have a problem. So come right on to the face here. Find that top middle corner. See how it's red? Now it'll snap into that blue. That's what I want. And I'm going to click. And then I'm coming down. And I can type in 45 should be able to type in 45. No, oh, it's going to lock in for me on the 45. 45. There we go. And uh, I see what our issue is. Sorry, everybody. Click on the top. Then we can click on that edge to set our 
base where we're going off of, and now we can tip it off 45. You can just type it right in if you want. So you can see in the bottom right corner, I typed in my angle 45. It'll give me a 45. Let's do it again. Click here, click anywhere on the top line, tip it down. It locked to 45 for me, and there we go. Let's grab the line button, make a line, make another line. And now let's get rid of the top. We can delete and add lines, all that. Remember, push, pull. Grab this, click, move it back, and your, your uh, cursor has to lock on to that back edge. It'll turn red. There's one. Let's lock this onto the back edge also. And there we go. That part is now gone. Let's triple click. Oh, we want to paint this first, don't we? Let's paint this. I'm going back with wood bamboo. Triple click, right click. We're making another component. This is called the back. Okay. Now, we've already got a piece, and we're going to make a front piece that is essentially exactly the same essentially exactly the same. So let's just trace this here, 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 and there. All right, push pull, that out, three quarters of an inch, and there is my next piece for me. Triple click, there we go, right click, make a component, and this is called the front. Hmm. All right, if you still triple, triple click on it again, I forgot to paint it, get in there, I'll paint the whole unit. There we go. And now we are going to watch carefully, pick our component, move button, and make sure you grab on the right spot. We're going this bottom right corner, corner of the front, click there, and we're moving this along, move it along, and then type in five inches, and it'll move it to the place that we want it to be at. Now, next we're gonna draw in a circle. Let's go find our circle. It's in with our rectangle. We should still be in this double click mode where we're inside editing our component. Come right to the middle. Let's come up. And there's no particular spot exactly that I want it, but we can put it where we want, somewhere about two thirds of the way up. Click there. And now let's make this the size that we want. And we are going one inch. Nice little birdhouse hole. Push pull again, grab that, lock on the back. Uh-oh, triple click, push pull. Oh, I see what's going on here. Get rid of that circle, triple click. I thought I was editing the component and I was not. Back in, midpoint two thirds of the way up, one inch. There we go, that's looking better. Click that, lock on the back edge, and now I've got my hole. All right, make sure you're inside editing the component. I was mistaken. All right, now we're gonna use that same technique to make the place where the bird is going to be able to perch. So just underneath, and we are going to make an eighth of an inch. So one over eight or 0.125. There we go. Now this part is a little bit tricky, but we're gonna push pull this. There we go, back out of the way on that back edge so that again, we have a hole through the middle that on edge will move, you'll be able to see that it is a hole. And 
What do we need to do next? We need to make some sides. Make some sides. So we need to angle around so that we can see what's going on. Zoom out. Let's use our cursor to get out of this edit. Let's make our rectangle. Again, there we go. Click here. There we go. Let's rotate. We're going to push pull this in three quarters of an inch. You can see it switched for me down there. I typed in 0.75 inches. It knows that that's three over four, and so do you. All right, we push pulled that, and let's make it painted again. I'm holding shift and clicking. Let's make this a component. Triple click, make a component. And we're going to call it side panel. And we need two of these. So we're just going to copy this guy over, just like we should have learned from some of the other assignments. And let's grab the move button. And I, if you could look down at the bottom here, it says, for me, option equals toggle copy. Yours might say control equals toggle copy. Whatever button it tells you right here to push, push that button. It gives you a little plus button in the bottom right corner of your cursor. And we're going to grab this on this top corner. Pull it across. There we go. Now I'm almost there. Time to make the birdhouse roof. And we'll be using one of the tools we haven't used yet. We're going to go into rectangle and we're going to use this one called rotated rectangle. Click here in this corner. Click in this corner. Click in this corner. And that's going to give us the rectangle. Now let's push pull out three quarters of an inch. And the next thing, let's do a bit of an overhang. So we're going to have to rotate around so we can see. We're going to get some overhang here, this bottom edge, give ourselves a little eave, and let's go half an inch. My push pull did not pull. Uh oh. There we go. Push pull. Half an inch. There we go. Let's push pull the front out as well. And we're going to go out so that the front edge of this is lined up exactly with that. So we can tell it to do that by grabbing this face, coming out, and getting our mouse clicked right on that edge, locked on that edge, and then we click. And that will give us our piece. All right, let's make it a component. Left roof. Okay. We didn't paint it. We need to do that. Go. Rotate around. Now we need to make our other roof piece. So once again, rotated rectangle. One, two, three. Push pull up. We are three quarters of an inch, which is also 0.75. Let's paint it. Uh oh, let's paint our piece. There we go. Triple click, right click, make component, right roof. Okay, last piece is to make our little perch. So this can be tricky, but here's what we're going to do. Let's zoom in so that we are right on this circle where we are going to put our perch. Let's grab our circle. Should be in with this rotated rectangle. There we go. And 
move it. You might have to, there we go. Center in front, click. And now I put in that little circle from edge to edge. And I'm gonna pull it out. And let's pull it out so that it is in line with the edge of the roof, which is also in line with our front of our porch. Grab our painter, let's paint this. Let's make this a component, triple click, right click, make a component, perch, hit okay. And now we have all of our pieces. Okay, so that concludes step one. Hit save so that you don't lose anything. And we will catch you on the next video for part two. Thank you for watching.